The Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Harry. <laughs> hey, guys. This All that work Harry's you put in. Hey, guys. We shine. haven't got time for it, have we? How hard are you guys trying to dodge the day race this week? <laughs> <laughs> My favourite thing is, Harry now, because he does the early show and he can't stop banging on yeah. about it. Um, uh, now that Harry does the early show, like this is now an albatross around Harry's neck. Yeah, that's neck. right. Oh, and, no, the early show And I just thought it'd be really it. funny if Harry has to do it each week and then every, every each week we don't get a chance to play it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They're getting, they're getting shorter and shorter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you got to go for the hits, don't you? Yeah, that's that because right. Because we're right. giving you less and less material. Yeah, it's spot on. All right, no more speed bumps before the weekend starts. Let's get into it. Here we go. Nathan, Nat and Sean's Weekly Debrief. Well, yeah, it was a great week to be called Harry with the big dog himself landing down under to kick off his Australian tour at HBF Park. Don't forget to grab your merch. Harry Styles is in Perth. Hi, this is Harry Styles. I never thought people would be lining up for the chance to buy a Harry Styles t-shirt. <laughs> Back in the day, I'd wear things that had prints all over them. And it just a tip for anyone, you look like a massive loser in 10 years. <laughs> right, if I go back five or 10 years and in my photos, what a massive knob. <laughs> Souls is of course responsible for some of the catchiest earworms. But there are a few others floating around on Nova that are beginning to grow on Nathan, Nat, and Sean. Green, green grass green. from. Oh no, no. George Ezra. George Ezra. No. You're going to be singing no. that. No. That'll get you. I guarantee you. Nathan, Nat, no. 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 said no. about that no. one. You have to buy everybody no. breakfast. No. 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 You said no. it about that no. one. No. No. Buy everyone breakfast. Shake on it. I will shake on it. Okay. Never. It's not going to get yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Thing, Everyone heard this? There is one thing people know about me. It is that George Ezra has always been one of my greatest enemies. <laughs> <laughs> While Nate cemented his rivalry with George Ezra, Sean decided to once again declare his love for someone special in his life. Number one surfer in the world, Jack Robinson. I saw him up at Cal Barry and we were surfing at this place, just me and um, my younger son, and he came in the water. And, uh, and so did I you. Was... <laughs> It was one of those moments where he was right next to me and uh, I couldn't say a word. I didn't know how to... It would have been lame, whatever, I would have... I yeah, just, it would have been. I just knew it would have come out. It like, would have been yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Anyway... I'm well, on the radio! <laughs> <laughs> I used to be... I used to be on the radio! Surfing chat quickly moved to an area that Sean was very unfamiliar with. Say We're having a Sean. conversation about handbags. Expensive handbags at the moment. I oh, know, we're not going to say it to you, Amy. <laughs> When I run down to get some like bread and milk, I use a Birkin. But yes. <laughs> do you know what that means, Sean? It, no, oh, yeah. no, 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 fake pubic hair, Sean. No, that's a Birkin. A Birkin. I was like, people don't recognise you. On Wednesday, Nathan and Sean proved that they are willing to sacrifice anything when it comes to respecting religion and culture. Now, resident Catholic Sean McManus has just realised Lent starts. Oh, it's Ash Wednesday. It is. Fantastic. Yeah. So what are we giving up to? What about if we made you give up um, semi-sun-dried tomatoes? Yes, no, just for 40 days. I need them. 40, 40 days. days. Yeah, it's a Lent. Oh, Till Easter. I could use a roasted capsicum strip. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thursday rolled around and it was time to check in on Nathan's Lenting. Lenting. Is that even a word? Who wrote this? Oh, yeah, I did. Yesterday we were talking about Lent. You committed to oh. giving up semi-sun-dried tomatoes. I already have semi-sun-dried no, tomatoes. Now you've got to throw them in the bin. I do I. <laughs> But they got seven dollars. You don't want to put them to waste because you're not allowed to have them yes. here for forty days. I'll bring in sun-dried tomatoes. You're not getting your hands on my semi. Alrighty then. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be your semi for long. <laughs> That's enough. Let's wrap up this debrief with the song of the week. This song like, seems like something that everyone likes. You show inspirational clips on telethon. Green. And there's all kids having a great time in the field. Blue, blue sky. <laughs> and all the doctors and nurses come out going, yeah. <laughs> Great cause. <laughs> That's what this song is. <laughs> and it is a great cause. All right, mate, in the name of a great cause, take it from here. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Blue, blue, blue sky. sky. You better throw a party on the day that I die. Do it. Not being part of your cult. You can only resist for so long. Don't <laughs> <laughs> this is the Scientology of the music world. <laughs> it is. Well done, Harry. Thanks. Hope you well, enjoyed Harry, the last ever day, The last The last? Yes, the last. No, time. no, you're doing it next time. All right, we'll do another one. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.